Tiferal constituency of Kwara State. And um, I'm moving the motion for a review of the planned closure of the Namdi Azikwe International Airport, Abuja. The House notes the report published in national newspapers. Please help me, Ben. Honorable. It's because I already is looking at us. Silence, please. In the national newspapers, that the Federal Ministry of Transportation Aviation is proposing to close the Namdi Azikwe International Airport, Abuja, for six weeks, commencing on the 8th of March 2017, to enable the ministry to carry out comprehensive renovation of the runway and to construct a second run. No, there's no construction. And to, to renovation of the runway. Also notes that the ministry stated that during the period of closure, all flights, both local and international, will be rerouted to the Kaduna International Airport from where passengers will be conveyed to Abuja by road or rail. Cognizance of the incumbency on the government to facilitate and ease the conduct of economic activities and travels um, it, it becomes difficult to understand the rationale behind the intended closure of an airport of the capital city of the country, which invariably amounts to shutting down the city. Conscious of the fact that the nation has lost an estimated 80 billion worth of foreign investments in the last two years, the government ought to be more concerned about facilitating the return of capital to the nation, rather than taking a measure that is bound to exacerbate the situation. We wonder why there has to be a complete closure in order to repair the runway where there exists new technology that can be applied in such a manner that the repair works be undertaken at night, over the period, or even longer, while the airport remains in operation during the daytime aware that the upgrading and construction of the terminal building has been ongoing for over five years now without a completion date in sight. And given the experience of the Port International Airport, which was shut down to undergo renovation for a few weeks, but the work lasted for over a year, what then is the guarantee that this particular exercise will be completed within the projected six weeks? Concerned with subjecting local and foreign travelers to the perils of road travel, particularly in this period of recession, with the attendant economic hardships, which, we have, which have occasioned high incidents of armed robbery, kidnapping, and other sundry crimes along the Kaduna Abuja Highway. Resolves to urge the Federal Ministry of Transportation and Aviation to halt the planned closure of Namdi Azikwe International Airport Abuja and to explore alternative methods of carrying out the renovation of the runway. And to mandate the committees of the House to ensure implementation and report back to the House within two weeks for further legislative action. A notice by the Federal Ministry of Transportation Aviation was published in the national newspapers titled The Closure of Namdi Azikwe International Airport slash Invitation to Stakeholders Forum. The details of the said notice is the announcement of the closure of the Abuja Airport for six weeks from the 8th of March 2017 to, in quotes, carry out comprehensive renovation works on the airport runway. The House should note also that all flights, local and international, are to be rerouted to the Kaduna International Airport at that time. The statement was signed by the Permanent Secretary. The House is concerned whether in this period, where our country is tethering on the brink of economic depression, there are any logical economic arguments to support the closure of the political and economic capital of our nation. Cognizant of the fact that it is incumbent upon our government to do everything possible to facilitate and ease conduct of economic activity, 
Considering that our nation has lost an estimated 80 billion of foreign investment in the last two years, shouldn't we be more concerned about facilitating the return of capital into this nation? How does a country quantify or recover the losses involved in closing the airport of its capital city for six weeks? Further concerned, further concerned that calling a stakeholders forum after a decision on the closure has been made by the ministry is like putting the cart before the horse. While the House is aware of the need to effect renovations on the wrong way of the airport in order to meet international aviation standards, the House is further aware that there are new technologies that can be applied in such a way that the runway can be repaired over this period, overnight, and put to use in the daytime. The earliest scheduled flight into the Abuja airport arrives at 5 a.m. in the morning. There is no need to shut down the artery that supplies the very blood supply to the economic and political system of this nation. Equally worried that the upgrading, in, in quotes, and construction of the terminal building which has been ongoing for over five years without completion. Do we then trust these contractors to conclude this project within six weeks? Alarm that subjecting innocent Nigerians and foreigners to the perils of road travels in a recession with increases in armed robbery, hijacking, and kidnapping along our roads is totally uncalled for. Dismayed about the entire decision-making process of this arm of government that, re that, that resulted in this proposal. We therefore invite the House resolves that the, this Honorable House restrains the Ministry from implementing this decision. Sorry. Urges the Federal Ministry of Transport Aviation to halt the planned closure of the Nambi Azikwe International Airport Abuja and to explore alternative methods of carrying out the renovation of the runway. And mandate the committee. Silence, the please. House, Honorable members, please. The relevant committee. Order. To ensure the implementation and report back to the House within two weeks for further legislative action. I do submit, honorable colleagues. I'm done.